Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade setup for today. So, uh, yesterday was a public holiday, Martin Luther King Day. Clean forgot about it uh, while doing the video. But uh, anyway, that just uh, is always a good sign to me because then I'm not actually paying attention to any noise. But uh, I suppose public holiday is not quite noise, is it? Anyway, um, the price action did play out regardless of that. Uh, you know, the futures market was open and you can see there was my retest of the level so I had two levels yesterday the first one was this one which we'd already closed below so that didn't count and then here's my next one then you can also see you had this uh, trend line here as well which we tagged fairly square on have a look at the oscillators at the moment on the eight hours I have one crossover the other one's about to cross over and remember when you see them cross over far apart it's always uh, the indication that an extended period of upside is coming and I suppose that is exactly what we're looking at uh, diversions I pointed that out yesterday you can see low lower low low higher low so uh, everything is looking like we should be looking for opportunities to buy uh, I did mention the the break above the moving out I say not the moving average but the pin bar here is today so a break and retest of that area there uh, does give me an opportunity to get in long uh, not really interested in that long just yet but we do have quite a bit of uh, resistance up here I'm going to put a second level up uh, let's do uh, yeah I think we'll do that so that zone you can see the zone here where we're actually rejecting at the moment which is 3996 so basically 3100 is what we're rejecting at the moment so 3100 nice round number as well that's kind of um, what we're looking at right now so um, inside bar pin bar inside bar engulfing bar lots of structure here pushing us to the upside with a grouping and a crossover and we're pointing up now, if we come to the hour, uh, we know that the longer term time frame is up. So we're looking for opportunities to buy into this. Obviously not at this level. Look at my oscillators. Um, it is indicating to me that we are potentially at a level. So that is the case of what we see transpiring here. So I'm looking for pullbacks. And uh, I'm just going to highlight that area there. So that's kind of my zone that I would be looking at so that's 39.50 uh, I suppose we could also pop down to the moving averages as well uh, which is 30 let's just call it 3900 I think that's a fair a fairly good area 3900 and also the gap that's the other thing that we need to pay attention to okay so that's kind of what I'm looking for and uh, my target area at the moment is pretty much uh, previous highs so let's just find a logical choice so there it is there you can see price move past that fractal so that validates that level and you can see it has been utilized a couple of times so that is my target area 31 200 so looking to buy off 30 uh, 3100 area or just below um, 30,050, even back down to 30,000. Uh, no, 30,000 is going to be quite far. I mean, that's going to be all the way down here. That's 36,000. So uh, at the moment, I think it, it all depends on what transpires here. If we just get to the 15 minute, this is a bit of an exhaustion bar here. So we, you know, we gapped up sideways and then accelerated that does look like a bit of an exhaustion but the important part here is that the moving averages have crossed over and now the 155 is crossing over as well so that is always giving me confirmation you can see here it was crossed over and we stayed down for a couple of days and then moved back up again so not a couple of days it was just Friday wasn't it no it was a couple of days so it was from the 14th right anyway so I'm looking for pullbacks onto structure. This is my first area level of structure here. Um, second one will be around the gap. So gap close would be a fairly decent opportunity, I would assume. So 
So that's it for me today, waiting for the pullback and we will be buying back into this. Hope it helps and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, stay safe. We will catch up with you guys bright and breezy tomorrow morning. Enjoy your day. Cheers for now.